Hi, all you lovely creative people. This is June from Local Witch Lane Designs. And I was just trying to get my laptop up a little bit higher right before. It's always good to do things like that right before you go live. Okay, today we're going to play with the IOD Bubbles mode. The whole IOD Bubbles mode. Okay, look at that. Okay. Um, so... Instead now, oh, I didn't even put my chat up, but I'm going to be moving my camera real soon. So hello to all the people who come in and hello to all my secret Santas. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully we can have some fun with it. I'm trying a new material, um, which I'll talk about in a second. There's a lot to chit chat about. Hi, Sandy. How are you, sweetie? Glad to see you. So. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be turning the camera around, which makes me lose chat right away anyway, and just start working. Um, let's see. I've been doing this long enough that hopefully, and I'm going to unmirror it because I don't like that. All righty. Let's get my YouTube chat up again. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Hi, both of you ladies. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. So... <clears throat> I'm, you know what? I, it's hard for me to see chat. Maybe if I move this over here. It's nothing like maneuvering things around. You should really do that prior to going live. Hey, happy hauntings, Martha. <sighs> Almost Halloween. I know. Today is, what is that? Today, Wednesday, in less than a week. We've been ready for it. Took me, took me, why? I'm right here. Here I am. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see where I'm going to begin to explain all the things I've been doing. I got this bubbles mode and mold. Mold, yes, it's an IOD. It's called bubbles right there. Can you see it? Right there. And this one came out for last Christmas. Christmas of 2022 okay my back cushions bothering me so now that's going over there okay and it was really tough to find it i did i thought i did are you sure hold on i could have sworn i left the link in um somewhere all right hold on let me go look wow hold on Alrighty. Yeah, I did, sweetie. I did leave some links, I think. Oh, well, I thought, yeah, I did. Okay. So, that's all right. No problem. Let's talk about this IOD mode. Not mold. Jeez. I have a lot of, I, I look through my stash of molds and I have a couple. Hey, Shannon, how are you? Hi. Um, I have a couple of IOD molds, and I have to say, okay, let's go backwards a little bit because I'm getting, um, I'm getting a little confused on stuff. Okay, here we go. This was 2022. I found out by one of the vendors that I was buying these from that. Um, no, it's not. And Joanne, how are you doing? Hi, sweetie. Welcome. Uh, that what IOD does now, I don't know this for a fact. I'm just telling you what this vendor told me is that when they have a holiday mold that they make a certain amount and then that's it. And so I was having a very hard time finding this mold online. I did find it finally at a reasonable price just a couple of dollars more expensive than a regular iod mold um but i saw one of the things that was making me a little like oh i'm not gonna be able to find this is that ebay had this there was sellers on ebay excuse me selling it for over a hundred dollars and i'm like oh goodness this is going to be a hard find but i did finally find it and um hi ashley Hi, sweetie. I did finally find it at a store. I think it was called Kim's Creations. I don't know how many she has left. But getting back to what I was going to say, most of my IOD moles are really very cool. I like them. Um, but this one, 
And I don't know if it's a second or something, but if you notice, and I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna bring it up. Yeah, you can. There's like lines in the mold and, and this is not done really um, smoothly here, these grooves. And here's another line in the mold. And when you're working with two-part resin, that shows, that really shows. Is Christine here too? Hi, Christine. Hi, hi, sweetie. Wow, everybody's here nice and early. This is lovely. I'm so glad that everybody's here. Hi, hi. I'm waving to the camera that's not on in front of the computer. Okay, some news to let you know. My sister's not going to be able to make it tonight. Sorry about that. Um, she has to pick up her husband from the airport. So, okay. So I was a little concerned about this mold because it's not as smooth as IOD molds. You'll see there's a lot of like stuff in here. And when you're doing resin, I'm not sure the paper clay too, but when, especially when you're doing resin and I'll show you that in a second, um, it picks out all of the imperfections of the mold. And it's the only mold that I have known, uh, that had it because all of the other ones were, were really very good. Now I made, I tried to, I saw this on YouTube video on a YouTube video. I think I don't remember which one cause I watched so many channels. Um, if you can see it, you can see that there's a line right in there and that's not me. That's the mold. And this lady online going back to what she was doing, she makes them so that they are a full on both sides which you do by, well, with paper clay, it's easy. You know how to do that. But with uh, the resin, I found a hard time. I'm not really good at it because you pour one side, you wait for it to firm up, you take it out, then you pour the other side and you try to fit, where does this one come from? You try to put the top that's already dry down into it um, on the resin that's drying. And well, first you have to put your hooks on and you get nervous, especially if you do it more than one, because you don't want the stuff because uh, the, the stuff that I'm using, which is this stuff, casting resin, you, it, it, you know, after a couple of minutes, you can't get it out of your cup to get it to pour. And you try to do this so that it's touching. And what, hap what happened with mine was there was a lot of, first there's a seam, well, you can't help that, but a lot of it didn't connect with, because Resin, I think, dries, and when it dries, it goes up on the corners, and it sort of sinks in the center unless you overfill it, but I didn't want to overfill it. Maybe tonight I'm going to try it one more time because besides everything else, I did get this black dye, aluminite black dye, so we're going to try it. It's a resin dye. We're going to see what that does. So I ended up having to uh, fill it, and I was using <laughs> plaster of Paris because it was uh, whatever that stuff was. Uh, Christine, everybody's there. Okay, hold on. I gotta see what the heck. I was using spackle. Hold on. I forgot to take this over. I knew I forgot something. I probably could get a lot more stuff by the time this uh, night is over. But I was using this to sort of fill them because it was like they weren't connecting. And then I was trying to put um, super glue or the carbon, whatever you call that glue. And then it was leaking out the other side. And of course, I was getting all stuck to everything. But, okay, another thing I just wanted to show you before I begin is I cast this one in the resin and this one in the paper clay. And first of all, you can see how much this is paper clay, how much it shrinks because the size is definitely smaller. Can you see that? At least at the tip. And then in the process of trying to put the wet side onto, onto after I molded it and trying to put it on top of the other side, this part of the mold got flat. Now, it's not that much of a difference, and you're not really going to see it that, you know, no one's going to say, oh, your mold is flat. But I just wanted you to know about it. And then the paper clay wasn't really <coughs> drying right in between like right here you might see that there's a little bit of a mess there right in there it's because it wasn't um it wasn't like dry it was moving 
and I tried putting some of that, the CA glue on it on, you know, and it wasn't working. So finally I just put a little wire in the bottom, glued that in and then put more CA glue all around and squished the top on. And that sort of made it firm. Um, and then the other thing on this one, if you noticed it cracked. This is the paper clay and it's always cracking. And I had heard from a couple of places online that you should paint them first. And you should paint your molds for like, as soon as you take them out, paint them because that helps them not crack. Well, I did paint this and it still cracked. It didn't crack anywhere else except where I broke it on purpose, but um, it did crack. Now, as far as weight is concerned, the paper clay, I think, is a little bit heavier than this one if you're putting it on a live tree because live tree, the tips of branches, if that's what you're going to use it for, or the tips of branches are a little bit, you know, whimsy, whatever. On the fake tree that I have, it doesn't matter where I put them because the branches are all wired. But I did want to show you this. Now, um, the difference. Now, I have used all sorts of different things on these things. Uh, basically, I gessoed them. I've used waxes on this one. I think I use wax. I use ink in the corners. I used antiquing. I used everything because I was playing. So I figured, you know what, let's have some fun playing. Uh, this one was, I don't know how many different colors it was, but... Uh, finally, I used this new gold wax that I think I mentioned last week, too. It's uh, Pentart Wax Paste. It's new for me. I'm sure it's not new. It's not new on the market. I got two different colors. I have the gold and the bronze. Here's the two colors I got. Now, these smell, you know, the other ones from these guys, uh, the metallic. Uh, from Art Alchemy. These smell like, like the vanilla. That's what everyone calls them, the vanilla smellers. These smell like orange, a very strong orange smell. But one of the things I like about this, it's sort of soft and I can use my paintbrush. This has gotten, ever since the metallic came in the tubes, it's sort of softer. So you can use your paintbrush more. Um, but these are very soft and I've been dipping my paintbrush, as you could probably see, and they're very smooth, very smooth and highly pigmented. I really like uh, this Pent, Pent Art product, but continuing on this, I painted it black and then I painted it red. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Sorry. Hi, sweetie. Uh, I painted it red because when I was using the gold leaf foil or the silver leaf with the gold leaf, they always said that you should have a dark red background. Don't know why. I guess when it cracks, because gold leaf normally does crack or any leaf can leave cracks. It's better if the red comes through. And on the silver, they always said to use black. So it was, this has been painted black. It's been put red coats on it. Finally, I used the waxes. And then what I did was because I'm very anti-glitter. I don't like glitter because it just goes all over the place. I used, this is for fabric, but it was the only gold glitter I had. And it's uh, tulip glitter dimensional fabric paint, but it's staying on. It, it might be a little sticky still, but um, like a little tacky. So I might put a clear coat over it just to stop it from being sticky, but I didn't get to do the other side. So this is, you know, this is something that even if you don't have the stickles, this product, because I don't have, I think this is the only stickles I have left. And this is uh, Twinkle. And I'll show you that on something else. It's got like a blue and purple type glitter inside a clear glue. Um, you can use this. And... I can't figure out how to get this on neatly. So what I did is just take it and smush it all over the place. And it just gives a little glitter. 
But the best part about this is that the glitter does not come off because I don't like anything where the glitter can come off. I don't like seeing glitter on the floor. It, it just, for some reason, it just bothers me a lot. So I had to put two coats on the other side. So I just wanted to show you that this is what I used. Um, I should get Stickles Gold Glitter, but if I have this and it's workable, I'm going to use this up first. Okay, so now on this one, what I did was... I decided to paint it red because my Christmas tree that I, when I put it up is golden red, the ornaments. And then I just used this wax, the Pent Art, the Pent Art Wax, to highlight certain areas on it. And then I took, if I could find it, this is a stuff that comes in the metal ribbon. I didn't have that much of it left because I used it, but the, this is a part of the pieces. So when I only had like five or six of them, I just cut it because it's not going anywhere. It's not going to go around any, anywhere. So I just use these pieces and that's, and I went outside and I spray painted them gold, which I have a really, no Pitsy Dust for June. No, absolutely not, Martha. Um, oh, what was I saying? Where was I? I painted them gold, and I should have brought that over. To, I got so much stuff over here, I forget to bring over everything. But this gold paint that I have is a really small can, but I really like the color of the gold. And then I just glued them on. I put, you know, the gold wax here, then I glued them on. And then here, just to um, highlight the little red dots, I used the liquid pearls also because I had it in the color rouge. Is Tony here? Hi, Tony. How you doing? I've used a paintbrush to paint tulip on fabric because I didn't want it so puffy and thick. Absolutely, Christine. It, it, I, I'm not sure it's going to really dry on this thing. Because uh, this is not porous, but we'll get it so that it's not sticky anymore. So those are just some of the things that I've done. Um, I told you this one. It's got all sorts of waxes. It's got ink. It's got uh, this antiquing medium, which is home decor, folk art, antique wax. I, I was putting everything on everything because I was just playing. Now, this one started off in all sorts of different things. So finally, I just took it all off. And I was practicing with the glitter. It, this one is not. I'm going to have to um, take some, what, what do you call this, acetone and clean it all up. But what I did on the bottom, on this side, was I was just trying some of my alcohol inks. And once I, because it had all sorts, of, I had used, um, what did I use on this one? The uh, gold leaf, the silver leafing. And I didn't like the way it came out. It looked too silvery. It looked too sort of cheap. So uh, it didn't have like an antique feel to me. And all of a sudden, all of these sheets were working perfectly. They weren't cracking like they normally do. And every other project I have, they're always cracking. On these, they covered it completely. Called glitter paint. Okay. Well, you know, um, Glitter paint is fine. I just don't want to have, I don't know what it's sold in, if it's sold in large quantities. I want the smallest amount of glitter paint because I don't use it an awful lot at all. Uh, so I use that Twinkle. That's what it was called, right? Twinkle. And this was uh, Indigo. Not, no, it wasn't it, plant. This was Denim, okay? Denim alcohol ink so alcohol inks also works on the resin pieces and then i just wanted to see what it looked like with some of that glitter and if you're into purple or blue i thought that would be very pretty i don't know if you could see it glittering or not um yeah you can a little bit okay now so that was that all of my experimentation and I was having a lot of fun doing that because a lot of times everything I do is so like regimented or trying to get something done that to take the time to experiment was a lot of fun. What's going on? Glitter, I like them. Okay, folk art, I'll have to go look. Um, I have lots of tulip paints. I like to do shirts. Nice. Nice. Tulip paints, I find, are okay. They're very, you know, at least this glitter thing is fine. It's just giving me a little bit of glitter. It's not putting the whole thing in glitter. And, um, hey, Lynn, how are you? So glad you made it. Hello. 
Okay, so here's the IOD mold. And I the people that were using it online, one made ornaments to hang, and the other one was making this really pretty um, plaque of wood. And she had them all hung out. And I really should have taken um, links to their videos. But if you look up IOD baubles mold, I think there's only two or three people that have used them. So you'll find them easy um, if you're interested in doing any of this. Now, all of that being said, uh, for my molds, the real tiny ones, I use liquid polymer. Is this it? Yes, liquid Sculpty to fill in the real tiny little ones. I've seen people use hot glue and, on you know, those small ones and maybe even these big ones. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I, like the, I like the liquid Sculpty and the little ones because I can get into all the crevices because trying to, the little ones are that pink plastic things and they're very, like, they move around a lot. They're very flimsy. So I always like using my liquid Sculpty uh, or liquid polymer clay, whichever brand you want on the little ones. On the big guys, I have used uh, paper clay, of course, the two-part epoxy, whatever this thing is, amazing casting resin, okay, which I can only find in white. And I think a long time ago, I used DAS clay, D-A-S clay. And I hope I'm not missing any of this because I, I see chats going. I'm, hopefully I'm not missing any because I didn't want it so puffy. Yes, okay, I think I got everybody. I used DOS clay a while ago, and um, I'm just going to say this is my opinion. I probably wasn't an expert on using it, but I didn't like the smell of it, and it could, that could have changed, and I didn't remember like using it because I know I said I can't wait to get rid of it, and I think I got rid of it before I ever finished using it. So I one of the people online was using this it's called Jovi Air Dry Clay, and I bought it. I was going through. It's like Christmas. Found four cents. Oh, nice. Oh, that's right. I have Wake Up Stella too. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Christine. I can get some of that too and put it on here. Oh, I forgot all about my Wake Up Stella. Thank you. Or whatever I have that's comparable to it. So I have never used this Jovi air dry clay. So I figured why not have some fun and see what I could mess up. I got it in Amazon. It's 2.2 pounds. It's as tough as a brick. But the only thing that I saw on Amazon, and I didn't go through all the reviews, but the only thing I saw was that it dries out really fast. So I have a plastic bag with a wet paper towel. And um, to keep this nice and moist once I cut it open, because I don't want it to dry out on me, because I'm not going to use it all tonight. So let's see what this is. It's air dry in 24 to 48 hours. Natural ingredients, no kin kiln needed. It's got all sorts of languages over here. It's ready to use. It's washable. Look at that. And it's gluten-free. For anyone... Who needs to know? It says it right here. Gluten-free. Okay. I don't know. Does anybody? Okay. I shouldn't say that because I don't know. But people who have an allergy to gluten, somebody in my, is it, you can't even, can you not even touch it? I always thought that people who had an allergy to gluten couldn't eat it. Okay. But that doesn't mean anything. My knowledge is not complete. Because, thankfully, I am not allergic to gluten. Let's see if this rips. Okay. It rips nicely. Oh, how lovely. Doesn't smell. Well, it has a little bit of a smell, but I don't. it doesn't smell like the other one. Okay, let's just take out a hunk. Okay. Hopefully that... Oh, this is a weird feel. It's... um. Nice feeling. Okay. Let me get out some more. And then 
let me put it away so that let me get it in this little plastic bag with the wet towel sort of heavy okay So last week I was away, I went up to Beacon, which is a place upstate New York. It's on the east side of the Hudson. And so we were able to take the Long Island Railroad and then Metro North, for any of you who are familiar with any of those things. Megan and I spent three days up there. It was lovely. We stopped off at Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, which, you know, is one of my favorite places to go, um, which is a whole conversation in itself because when i first started going with my husband oh gosh 30 years ago at least because eddie yeah at least 30 years ago if not more there was nobody there no one went and i we went during the fall and and because we have some beautiful colored pictures of it nobody went there now they have traffic like cones that they won't let you drive in they have signs to tell you that, to remind you that this is a cemetery, which uh, a couple of years ago when I went with the kids, we got totally disgusted because there was some young families there that were letting their kids run all over the place. And it is sacred ground. I mean, people are buried there. And um, so, I mean, I guess they want it because it brings money into the town you know, every town could use a little extra tourist money, uh, especially in upstate New York. But I guess people were not respecting the cemetery. Now, I didn't put any cornstarch in here, so I'm hoping this stuff comes out. But this was real smooth and easy to do, much easier than the paper clay, to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm thinking so far... So far, the smell and the texture is really nice. Now, I have seen what's watching people online. Besides resin, paper clay, air dry clay, I saw somebody filling and hot glue and liquid polymer. I saw someone um, filling a mold with toilet, toilet tissue and glue. Okay? I think that's wonderful. Getting better. Yes, I've seen your post, so things get better. That grandson of yours before, same as my nephew, George, he isn't here. Okay, well, I'm just glad. And it's sort of um, very depressing that they... Has anybody used this Jovi clay book, by the way? Am I, am I just saying this is a new product? And every, I mean, it's a new product for me. I'm sure it's been on the market for years. Let's see. Let's get the... I like to, when I have like the paper clay and stuff, I like to run, but this is so much easier to use. I got to tell you, if this comes out nicely, this might be my new thing and no longer struggle, but okay. It takes 24 to 48 hours, but I, I think one of the reasons why I like the paper clay is you could wrap it around something, but I'm sure that you could wrap this around something too. The reason why I'm trying to make it as flat on the back as possible because I'm going to try to make a double-sided mold again and see if it could work with something that's not resin. Well, it worked with the paper clay, so let's see if it'll work with this stuff. Whoa, look at this, guys. Come on, don't... Whoa, that was nice. I didn't press in enough on certain parts, but that was nice mold coming out. Let's try it again. Because as you can see where the mold isn't that great, because that's the mold. That's not me. And that line here, but this is me. Right up here, that's me. Okay, so let's try it again. Maybe I need a little bit more. I would just punch it in a little bit. No, it doesn't. It has a little bit of a smell, but I think the, the other one, for me, the other one smelled a little bit more than this one. Maybe I should add just a little bit more. The feeling is it's firm and dry, but it's movable. Hi. Oh, hi, Shirley. Okay. What, am I seeing everything? Be in the... 
Hi, Shirley. Thanks, Lynn. Background. Okay, Shirley, I, I, I know you hang out in the background. It's okay. I'm so glad that you're here and hopefully enjoying the show or whatever, or me having trouble speaking English, which is normal. <clears throat> I want to make sure I'm getting it in all of the little places. So the best way to do that is to, I like how it comes off the side. If this stuff works, guys, I'm really going to say I like it. Now, what I'm saying is this works, is that is if this is going to not crack, because everything seems to, if I remember correctly, the other air dry clay that I used uh, cracked. So if this doesn't crack, I might be saying giving up my paper clay very easily because I don't, this is all over my hands, but I don't mind the texture of it. After a while, the paper clay gets really annoying and I, I don't like it on my hands anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask you people. Okay, no, nothing else came in. Um, do you remember a while ago when we, well, when we, when I first started watching all of the people back then, they used to say that you couldn't mention AliExpress on your uh, YouTube channel for some reason. I and I never understood why. Do any of you guys, ladies, remember what the problem was? I know that AliExpress is a cheaper thing, but there was like people that were really getting annoyed with them, and I don't know. It was like they were. I don't know. Now, because I'm seeing when I'm online, I'm seeing people mention TEMU, TEMU, yeah, TEMU all the time. And that's that's a cheap uh, or less expensive art supply. So I don't understand what it was about AE in case there's still some kind of strange thing that people will go through my little video over here. Um looking to give problems was it because they were trying to be sponsored by the big people and the big people didn't want to hear about it does anybody know i was thinking martha or christine would know joanne you might know too i'm talking about the the old timers that we've been together for a while that's why i mentioned those i'm not trying to leave other people out Okay, get in them crevices. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, are you going to come out or are you going to be difficult? Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Oh, look at you. All righty. Okay, so whatever, whatever messed up mistakes, that is the mold. That's not me, I don't think, I hope. Well, maybe some of it's me, but I'm not going to do it again. Let's see, does it, I'm going to use a little water. See if that smooths it out a little bit. Or when it dries, if I can fill it. But it's flexible. So if you were using another mold. Oh, is that what it was? You only heard half of what I said? Yeah. What, Christine, yes. Is there a, was there a known problem? Like why was everybody not allowed to say that? I thought there was like penalties if you said that word or, or like they take you. I don't know what they were saying. I didn't understand it at the time because I didn't even know for the longest time what place they were talking about. But I was just thinking that the other day because I saw some, you know, pretty big YouTube, but not like super, you know, big. Oh, okay. This, uh, this fix is pretty easy too. I mean, okay, this is all pending if this thing doesn't crack into a million pieces. But I have to say I'm liking it so far. Well, I'm liking it much better than paper clay. I like it how it smooths on. A little water on my finger there. Nice. Now, the other thing I have to do is I'm going to look at the other videos that these people put out, the other two videos that I could find using this, these bubble molds and see if their molds are as in bad shape as mine is. 
because I'm a little uh, disappointed in the quality of it. But, and I don't know if it's just my mold, but I didn't want to return it because I didn't know how many she had left, considering that it was so hard to, to find at a reasonable price. But we fixed all the boo-boos. Well, not the boo-boos, the cracks and stuff very easily with this stuff. Joby Clay. Hey, Sandra, how are you? Sandra's here. I remember, but I, okay, Joanne, so you were like me. I, I can't remember why it was like that either. I'm glad that I'm not, I think it was something to do with advertising a company back then. Okay, Lynn, maybe it was. Because there seemed to be a whole scummy all about it where you, we, are, we weren't supposed to talk about it. And I didn't have any idea of why that was then. And I still don't know why. All that there would be a problem if you did mention it. That's all I remember. Okay, I got to find places to put things because I'm running out of space here. And, okay, let's get that out of the way. I'm trying to move. Oh, that was sticky. Okay. All right. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Get this out of the way. So I'm going to, I'm going to make it two-sided. I ordered from there all the time. I remember everyone said, you can't say it to me like you can't say hook and loop. Okay. Hi. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. I, like you can't call hook and loop. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. I didn't know that one. I always call just called it Velcro. Oh, I'm I'm diving deep, huh? I'm gonna get in trouble with everybody. I overdid some oh your back is really sore. Yes. Oh goodness. Sore backs. Well, the only thing I can do for that is take lots of lots and lots of Advil. So hopefully Barbara will be able to come on. I'm not sure if she's going to be able to because she had to go someplace. So she's hoping to make it. Um, what else? Oh, Ashley, I wanted to say something if you're copyright thing. Oh, okay. Thank you. I, I tell you, it's, um, it gets really confusing, you know, I don't ever call uh, Velcro that anyway. I always called it Velcro, whether I'm using it Velcro product or not. So I, you know, just like I call super glue, super glue, and it should be called CA glue, but I happen to be using gorilla super glue. Or what is it called? Let's see what this thing is called. Super glue, super glue gel. Okay. So I can call it super glue, gorilla super glue. This is the one I use. And then we got that liquid stuff that is really cool when you're putting it on star bond when you're putting it on paper that was from um oh gosh names i've been having such a problem with remembering stuff i really would be beginning to think i should get tested for dementia Whew. okay well, well we'll cross that bridge later so um oh i was saying to ashley the other day when i was doing the pumpkin I uh, mixed sand and Mod Podge, and you had asked me what the, the combination was, and I don't really think I gave you a really good answer on that. So I just want to go back, because I was thinking about that also today. I was thinking, I really should not think, but um, when I mix Mod, when I mix sand, to make it a weight in an item. I used to use white glue, but I found that white glue was too thick and I had to add water to it. So I started using Mod Podge. I used the matte medium. The recommended like how to mix it is that I just put how much sand I need. Sometimes I, it's over the amount, sometimes it's a little less and I have to make more. I try to figure it out by either putting it in the container first or however I can figure it out. And then what I do is I put the sand in, you know, in a container and I put in enough 
Mod Podge because it's liquidy and it works to just get the sand to stay together. Um, I Because uh, the more Mod Podge you put in there, the longer it takes to dry. So I try to use the least amount without being stingy because you want all of the granules of the sand to become like cement. Now, if I had cement, maybe I would use that. I don't have cement. All I have is sand and, no, you know, I have sand. It's easy for me to get. You can buy it at uh, the Dollar Tree. Oh, you know, so I just use sand and I always have. I have mixed, like I said, I just use Mod Podge because it's liquidy. And uh, I can control it better because it is liquidy. By the time I'd add the white glue and then you put water in it, you, you, you know, it, it was beginning to be a little bit more difficult. And by the time I finished using it, it was pretty much the same consistency as my punch. Okay. Okay. She should be on later. That's okay. I, yeah, I... Uh, I don't want her to rush. I want her to enjoy her her trip. Cut right thing. Yes, that's it, Sandra. Yeah, I ordered from it too, Christine, because I'm um, going back a few comments because I was too busy on the Velcro side of it. I ordered from them. I didn't see what the problem was, you know, because the only, well, the things I ordered from them were the molds. Because sometimes they had the small, the smaller molds and some of the bigger ones for le for a lot less money. You just had to wait long. And um, I also all uh, bought those pearls that those little little pearls that were on those uh, clear fishing line strings, like little sprays. I bought that, and I I, I didn't know how many I was going to get, and I got I bought from one place once, and I had it for years before I was finally able to use it all. So let me get this little piece, oh, this is heavy, back in this thing because I don't want it to dry out. Let's get some water in there so we don't, because I'm thinking I'm liking this stuff. Let's do that. Now what you want to do, ooh, it's all over my fingers, but it doesn't feel the same it doesn't feel like anything, really. It doesn't feel the same like um, paper clay. I, I don't like the feeling of paper clay. I realized I really don't like the feeling of paper clay on my fingers. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like that. I mean, my hands are normally filthy, dirty when I'm crafting anyway. Let's get some wires. So I don't know what the problem is with that. Okay, I'm going to make a loop, but that it extends down here because I'm not sure. Oh, and here's a piece I didn't even need to. Uh... To think about cutting it because I'm not too sure how stable this area is going to be. If this was resin, I wouldn't worry about it at all. <laughs> I, don't think you... well, I said it enough, huh? <laughs> That's another thing with dementia. You forget what you say to everybody. Okay. I don't know. Does the paper clay bother you, you ladies? And Anthony, I don't know. Do you use paper clay? On any of your creations? Because you make gore. I know you. Uh... <laughs> I love my. I'm loving my emojis that I'm getting. Okay. So I'm going to put a little wire. In here. Now I don't know if I'm supposed to put glue on this or not. You know. I don't know. Oh should I take it out first? No I don't want to take it out. Because then I'm going to smudge two things. Should I put glue? Does anybody work with this stuff before? I don't know if I should put glue to make sure they glue together. <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's use a little Mod Podge. Let's go for the Mod Podge. Now, I like the smell of Mod Podge. Isn't that weird? Okay. I also like the smell of Fabri-Tac, which I'm sure... 
I don't know if I should have took it, taken it out, took it, taken it out, or try to do it like I did with the epoxy molds. We'll see. We'll see. This is all a an experiment and fun because the only way to learn for me anyway is by watching YouTube videos and trying out create you know my little stuff here. Okay, I don't want my podge on my mold. Get that in the water. Where's the top go? All right. Here we go. Let's line it. Let's try. I should maybe take it out. Why is? But we'll see. We shall see if this works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Because I, I don't want to, you got to press it to make sure it goes. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have to mess with this. So let's see if we will. Oh, look how pretty that came out. Okay, hold on. I got to read all of this. I only used it once and did not like the reason. That's because I left it in my not taken right out. Oh, okay. I find a better manufacturer after it and sold it. Oh, now I know. Okay, Christine, that makes up. Okay. Okay. That, ooh, okay, I'm missing something. I only used it once and did not like that. Are you talking about, Martha, I'm sorry. You know, I'm talking so much I forget. Are you talking about this paper clay? I mean, this uh, self-dried clay? All right, let's 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 get it up. I don't want to be too firm, but I want it to connect. Oh, let's, let's, let's remember that you're making a video. Oh, I got some. I bought things for pennies that will cut. Yes. Yes, paper clay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I like paper clay for moles because it goes around. Like you could maneuver it but it's not one of my favorite mediums because it shrinks a lot. And by the time it dries, you can get old. If this dries for 24 to 48 hours, then this is going to be a lot faster even than the paper clay because the paper clay it just takes an, an enormous, a really long time. So no, I'm not real. I mean, if this, if this works, then I think I might use this and say goodbye to the paper clay. If this works, I don't know. Let's get a little Mod Podge on my finger. Yep. Lots of money. Uh, how are we going to do this? I'm going to take that paintbrush back out and I'm going to smush that. Okay. Let's get some in there. Now, this might not be the proper glue for this, and that's fine. I can always, you know, reevaluate the glues or reevaluate doing it. You know, maybe I should just leave them both dry and then glue them together. I don't know. We're going to try. We'll see. But I'm liking the texture of this a lot more. I'm liking, the, you know, it's a little bit heavier, I think, than paper clay, and that's fine. Now, I know the one thing about paper clay and the casting resin is that if you drop something from them, it's really hard to break it like an ornament if it's on the tree, if it drops, I, unless it drops really far. I, I don't think there's going to be a lot of breakage. Now, on this, there probably would be, um, which is something else I can try once I finish making something. You know, drop it and see if it breaks and how bad it breaks. Because there's always plus and minuses. And so far, this is a plus. But now, okay, honestly, I don't have kids or animals in the house. So it's less chance of things falling off the tree. And if it's something I made, that's fine if it breaks. I mean, I'm, I really only care about a few glass ornaments that I have. But why do I have this? 
okay, could you please like go away? Thank you. Get off. Go to the other side. Now you made me squish my thing. Um, so usually, I'm just going to say usually, there's not a lot of breakage involved, except if you're putting it up and you don't hang it right. But on these kind of ornaments, that's okay because I, I can make more. It's not a big deal. It's the antique glass ones, but even that, I have the Santa that's older than I am, I think, which is saying something because it's always been on my tree, on my parents' tree. And we always give it a place of honor. If anybody follows me on Facebook, you usually see a picture of it every year because I do that every year. And, you know, Megan and I were talking about it and like, why are we putting it up on the tree? And then finally, we're just saying, you know what, we have to enjoy it. If it breaks, it breaks. And at least we enjoyed it all the years that we had it. It would be sad if it broke, but it's not like something like, you know, I'll recover. I'm missing. Yeah, um, is that the make a thin rope to cover your seams? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna wait for it to dry because it's very flimsy, right? Like it's it's feeling a little. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna backfill. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna backfill all of these. I'm just trying to put um some Christine. That was an excellent idea. I'm just putting my podge on so that um it you know make sure it glues together. But I will definitely do that and see how well this works after this is dry, because uh, if it's easy to if it's easy to put on fresh clay on dry clay and the seaming and stuff like that, or at least when it's a little bit more dry than this, because this is sort of flimsy, I could feel it. It's not going to bend over, but it's definitely going to be crooked. I just want to leave this someplace so it dries. So I'm going to take this this cute one. Um, and put it someplace. By the way, what I wanted to mention before I put it someplace, let's let's look at this. There's a lot of things that you can do with these things that you don't have to just make them baubles. You know that I take, you can cut your molds apart and use different pieces and um, or not. No, Christine, I am going to do that. It's just I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait a little bit because I, I don't want to smudge it anymore. And once it's dry, it'll be easier to put that in. But I agree with you. I think it was a great idea. You can take these, like say you want to put make a, a, a bottle top or something that is, uh, you know, because everybody's doing secret potions for Halloween. You can make one of these, cut it and glue it on top of a bottle. And look, you have a nice finial or crazy finial for your... Um, your Halloween bottles. I like sitting here sometimes and just thinking of the different things that I can do with my molds. Uh, you could use this. Now it's flat. It's not round, but you know what? It's still pretty for a bottle top and stuff. And um, you can do a lot of stuff. With, I like to use my molds with other things than just plain what they were made for. Uh, best one was in black. Uh, yes, that's the, I have that one, the creative paper clay. All right, I got to move this somewhere. Holy moly, where am I moving it to? Because I don't have, all right, I'm going to put, I'll be right back. I got to, ouch. Oh, I'll put it, no, I'll put it up here. Uh, no, that's not good. All right, let's leave that there. Let's see what it does drying over there. Hopefully it doesn't dry crooked. But okay, here we go. Barbara, you made it. Hello, sweetie. Thank you, Joanne. I like that mold. Yes. Okay, wait. What's the paper play? It's the I think I have it here. Oops. It's um, yeah, here. Have a little bit left on it. This is the one I normally use. I don't know if this is the one. Creative paper play. This is the one I normally use. Shoot. I should put some water on here. Uh, oh, let's let's be really messy. <laughs> Just to keep it damp. Okay. Let's be really messy. All right. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that's the one I normally use. And I whenever um we talk about that one. 
Ed Sander, Sandra, and Shirley. What? Miss. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, that Peter. Bite hurts. Back hurts when you get stiff. Okay. So, um, to make it a fair comparison, let's get that into the water. I'm so, and I don't even have to use the um, the cornstarch which is also one less thing to make a mess of. Oh, I certainly hope this stuff works. I really, 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 really do. Okay, let's, I'm gonna do one of these, which is the one that I made in paper clay and the one that I made in resin, just to see. Um, this is one of my favorites. So I was real disappointed when the ridges were a little yucky mucky, the ridges here, but. Are the leaves changing wherever you, where all you are? Because they're finally getting to change a little bit here. It's taking them a while. Usually Halloween, it's gorgeous around here. Some trees are changing. Some trees aren't. It's getting very confusing. I have no idea if it's going to be pretty on Halloween. Usually um, Halloween, it's gorgeous. But I think it's going to be delayed by a week or so. 756. Look at that. The sister's not coming in, so we don't have to watch out for her, although I'm the only one who can watch out for her. Oh, wait. This is supposed to go in with that so it doesn't dry out. All right. Okie dokie. Let's see what we can do now. Let's see what other mess we can make. So, was it a pretty drive, Barbara? I just said you went for a drive. Oops. And how is everybody else's leaves going around? Oh, and then I got to tell you what the, the menu is for Halloween so far. Okay. So we'll start with the dessert. I looked up a recipe for butterscotch pudding, homemade butterscotch pudding from scratch. Halloween meal is all from scratch. And um, we tried it because I like to try something I haven't done, especially pudding. I haven't, I don't really, I'm not really into pudding. And I got to tell you, the recipe that I tried and I looked up all the other ones, they're pretty much the same thing. It's because it's how, how you handle the sugar. That's what gives it the butterscotch flavor. And uh, I wasn't impressed. So we can't have an unimpressed dessert for Halloween. That's not good. Okay, hold on. A lot of the trees are bare here. It was so windy last week. Oh, what was left behind was beautiful two-week delay of leaf color this year. Didn't get a lot of rain. I mean, it's mostly yellow and brown and down. Oh, gosh, Sandy, that's been, trees here are going. Okay, excellent. It's been windy here this week. Yeah, the, all of a sudden we had the storm and it just took off all the leaves. Okay. So what was I saying? Oh, so then I decided I was going to try Indian pudding, which is a New England type thing. And I figured that would be really nice to have New England pudding, Indian pudding. And then because um, it's molassesy and it's got all the spices in it and stuff. And then, I don't know, I was just looking. And then I decided, I have, I think I've told you this, I have those Coop, C-O-U-P glasses that I bought from my favorite. Oh, that's what else I got to tell you. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, it's gorgeous there too. Good. It's, some trees are really pretty, but some, but the, it hasn't started all over the place yet here. Some trees are really pretty, like by the drugstore and pizza place. They have like a little by the parking lot. It was a new thing that they built, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, maybe longer, 20, who knows, new thing. You know, after a while, you can't tell. They put in all new um, trees and stuff, and those trees are really turning very pretty. And in the uh, railroad station, the Long Island Railroad, ooh, I just stabbed it. Okay, so we decided on, I'm going to make pumpkin bread. Okay. I decided to make pumpkin bread, 
and I'm going to put it, cut it up, put it when I make it, slice it and cut it up, put it in the bottom of the coupe glass. A coupe, you'd have to look, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, okay, it's like a glass like this and cut it off here and put the stem. It's, it's a wide glass on top. And then I'm going to have homemade whipped cream with a ginger spice cookie shaped in a gravestone on top. So that's dessert. We got dessert. Then, where did that thing go? I just made the wire. Does anybody see where I put it? Oh, that's really smart, you. You're, you're really... Okay, we'll make another one because I can't see it. What the heck? All right, then... Going to eat, be right back. Okay. Then, um, for... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I got to push it in a little bit more. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I might have to do it again. Um, and I don't even know. Where, where did the wire go? Am I losing my mind? What did I have a gremlin that came in that fast? Okay. Um, then for the... Ah, there it is. It was hiding. Okay. For the first course, it's going to be pumpkin risotto. And that'll go in the cauldron. And when I, well, the reason why I'm telling you all this, we now have a burning, and they are bright red, and they are beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Christine, left hand under paper towel. Thank you. Mike, how are you? Slow down, June. Yeah, I'm saying I'm, I'm getting too many conversations at one time. You made it. Cora's not coming in today, Mike. I don't know why I have to tell everybody that, but okay. So it's pumpkin risotto. That's going to be in the cauldron at, on my table, the little cauldrons. And one of the reasons why I'm mentioning that is because hopefully on Friday or maybe Saturday, I made a Halloween video of how I decorated my downstairs, my living room and my little dinette area. And Megan had to um, edit it and put it all together. And that took a while because I had the most awful time trying to get this thing because my camera's batteries were old and they kept on crashing right in the middle of it. Then my SD card said it was too full. It was, it what took me days to get this. So it was all in pieces and she had to edit it together. And the other thing that I did wrong, and I'm going to tell you all now, is I held my camera, for the most part, in portrait, vertical. And what you're supposed to do when you're taking a video is hold it horizontally. So it's just going to be, it's almost going to look like a short, but it's not short. I think it's about 20 minutes because uh, I show it to you during the day and I explain, you know, the things that I've made. And then I show it to you how it's lit up at night and it's all in portrait, um, vertical mode, not horizontal. And now I know when I take videos, I have to do it on horizontal mode because Megan tried all over the place, first of all, to get it. Cause when she, we first saw the unedited version, it was all vertical, but, but, but uh, filming or showing on on the uh, computer as horizontal, it was which she the poor girl had to do. Thank gosh she knows how to do this stuff because I was lost. I have no idea, and so she helped me with that. Okay, now why is this one not coming out as nice? All right, we'll just come out and we'll maybe it's a little bit more lumpy. Well, I know the mold is lumpy, but the water on it really takes care of it right away. Maybe I, should I put cornstarch in here? Maybe I should. Okay. Move over. I'm going to try a little cornstarch on this little one. Okay. I have a hundred over here. Spaghetti on how it's a tradition. My grandmother, she's, aw, a lot of good memories. Spaghetti sounds good. Then, okay, then for 
the little middle course. Still haven't figured out what the main course is, guys. But uh, the little middle course is going to be, hopefully my figs are going to be ready finally in the backyard. I don't know. It's taken them a long time to get themselves ready. It's going to be figs on honey goat cheese with balsamic vinaigrette. Reduced balsamic vinaigrette. So that's that's the second course. The third course, the main course, I have no idea what we're doing. None. Kevin. Ramen, nice. Sandy, having ramen or spaghetti? Which one? So that's the courses so far. And like I said, that video will be coming out either Friday or Saturday. And next year, if I decide to do this again, I bought another battery that was longer lasting because the two I had were not working and very well. I mean, you'd start, it was fully charged. I'd start filming two minutes later, low bat. And I'm like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. But then I don't usually use my camera for video and it's an older camera. So the batteries are probably shot. Uh, so I bought a new battery. Megan gave me her SD card, but I cleaned mine out. So hopefully I won't have the same problem. Spaghetti. Oh, nice. Aw, uh, a giant bag of goods so you wouldn't go trick-or-treating? My mom only sticks with any man older than Aw. Yeah, well, I don't know how trick-or-treating is. Well, I know how it is over here. Um, I, I don't know if you would call where I live country-ish. It's suburbia, I guess. A little bit more suburbia than Queens, but when I was growing up, we lived in apartment buildings. So we would just do the apartment building, which was really strange because my mother would get us dressed to go outside. And all we were doing is running up and down the stairs in the apartment building. And that and that was like <laughs> that would make us sweat a lot. Because you're running up and down the stairs. And we you know, we went outside, but we could have waited. Like, in other words, don't put, you know, don't, don't dress us for the outside when we're just running up and down the stairs because there was no elevators. Did she not like trick-or-treating or was it scary? Okay. All right, let's see what we're doing. Let's try it again. I'm sweating now, as a matter of fact. This light, this stupid little light that I have always makes me sweat. I don't know why. that in there. Okay. Afraid for them to go. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to go to house people. I didn't know, but then they gave us so I didn't mind. Aw. Oh, okay. I always took the girls to a few friends' houses. Yes. Yeah, I, um, even around, oh gosh, okay, hold on. Even around here, when my, except when they got older, I always took, went with my kids trick or treating. And for the most part, um, most parents go with the kids. Maybe they drive. Oh, are you going to break? Don't break. Don't break. It broke. Okay, well, that's okay. We're going to fix. We shall fix. We think we shall fix. Don't make me think you're not good. I was having so much fun thinking you were going to be good. Okay, let's see if we can get this out. 
should do it on there. All right. Oh boy, we're messing this up. Why isn't it not getting the de it's not getting the detail in here? And maybe that's because I put too much of the cornstarch. But we can fix that. Hey, it's it's an experiment, right? See that gap? That's a big gap. All an experiment to see if it'll work. Ah, you need this. You need a fan, not lady. Yeah, I, I do need a fan, Mike. Mom was afraid for them to go. Yeah, we'd, um, it was, uh, the kids had, a, just because it was the same thing when I was growing up, you had to dump your candy on the thing. Any candy you got and our parents went through it, anything that could have been opened and rewrapped was tossed. I did the same thing with my kids. And then I would give them candy that I bought, you know, that the trick-or-treaters didn't come and get as a trade so that they would, I mean, they were going to get the candy anyway, but we would trade them piece for piece. They could pick out which ones they wanted so they wouldn't get upset. But anything, even lollipops, like Tootsie Roll Pops, I never let them have them because uh, people could open them, put some stuff, chemicals on the Tootsie Roll and wrap them and you wouldn't know. So we threw out a lot of stuff. When I was growing up, it was a razor blade in the apples that everybody was talking about, you know? But before 9-11, it was that, ah, don't fall, no, 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 no. Okay, this is a little bit more flimsy than the other one, guys, than the bigger one. A little bit more flimsy here. Not liking that. But we can figure it out. We can work with it. We might just have to let it dry a little bit. I mean, we can. Everything so far out on this mold, it seems like the resin one was the best one so far, but we will see. We shall see. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to put this over where I put the other one ah, to clean up my desk so I have room. So I'm going to try one more thing with these. Let's get that in there. Keep throwing things in. One more. I want to see how much it bends because that would be interesting to me. How much we can get it to bend before it cracks. Okay. We don't need the Mod Podge anymore. Now, that was a tiny mold. The paper clay was a little bit easier than this in that mold. And, of course, the resin was the easiest in this one right here. Um, I, I could might have put too much cornstarch, so it blocked that clay from getting it in, into the grooves. Usually it doesn't block the paper clay because I think the paper clay absorbs the cornstarch if you add a little too much. Um, you never, you know, you don't know, but, um, one of the things that I always do is when I'm done with my mold, I go and wash it out because I don't want to have, uh, any residue when I come back the next time. And I think they said you're supposed to make it all in one piece. So this little fixing up here might be something that's a mess. Oh, that sounds like a, that sounds like a nice thing. You know, okay, someone just texted me, so hold on. Someone just made noise on my phone. 
Hold on, hold on, in case it was a thing. Huh. What the heck? Oh, it's finished charging? Okay. Everything make everything makes noise. Finish charging, it has to let me know it finished charging. So let's see. It's a lot easier to do that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many of you use um, use the molds. And when you use them, if you use resin, resin or paper clay, I like using my molds. They, it, it comes and goes. I, you know, I like decorating the frames, and I wanted to decorate some more frames. I like finding reasons to use my molds. You know. So, because using the molds to it again, it's like easy crafting to me. This is, you know, this is easy crafting, and I and sometimes you need to have easy crafting. And the, the new IOD molds, and I don't know when it started, is that they start. They, I don't know because I'm not. I didn't buy IOD like I, when I buy a mold, I buy it for the shape. Now what brand it is but they started putting the measurements of how much resin you would need right next to it with little arrows i don't know if you can see it can you see it you can see it like the measurements of how much resin you have to pour which is excellent so you don't waste resin our towns and churches do the trunk okay that's nice we went to a trunk. Up, I had a blast. Get the living daylights out of the lady on the car. <laughs> when I worked at Amazon, oh, they did trunk or treat as well. That's nice. I mean, that that's sort of you know very nice that the community is getting together and doing that. We, I, they might do it around here. I just don't know because that you know I don't have young ones anymore. They might have started it. It comes out of the mold pretty easy, even without the cornstarch, which I sort of like. Okay. So let's see. What can I do? Let's take my Mod Podge thing again. And let's see how it works. And I'm just going to leave this like this overnight. That was me. These creases right here, that's me because I didn't, I think it's supposed to put like a flat piece, you know, like work it so that it, there's no uh, seams in the clay. But I'm going to leave this overnight and see how it does it. Now, yep, see how that works. Just to see if it can do a circle. Don't think many go do it unless it's family and friends, you know? Um, yeah, it does. Wait, they do community give out candy and parking. Oh, that's nice. Would save gas for the country folks. That's true. They do trunk. Yeah, because again, I live, you live so close. They do trunk thing here plus community give out candy and parking. That's nice. Yeah, Martha did probably have a great time. Scared the poor uh, the lady on the gurney. Aw. You know, Shirley, here they don't come down the side streets. They go to, like, uh, at the, my block is between like a major two to three, uh, depending on where it is, it's two to four lanes. And it's very fast. So people don't usually go there. But uh, like, and then I have my block. And then on the other side of my block is the street, but it's a little bit more major. Mine is just sort of like they say a side street, not that it's any different than the one up the corner. And I always see the kids going up and down that one down there. They very rarely come down the block. I have a couple of them. And, you know, now that I said it this year, I'll probably have more, but there was a lot of um, times, like the last couple of years, COVID, okay, we, we got to excuse COVID, but even before COVID that we'd, I'd buy a lot of candy and there was always a lot left. 
so this year i'm going to be a little bit more circum you know circumspect i'm not going to buy as much candy seems like halloween well i've been celebrating since september 20th but that's okay around the first of the month <laughs> yeah it's gotten bigger and bigger which is very happy except I, wait i i shouldn't say that i don't like the gruesome stuff I really don't like the gruesome stuff. Every to each their own, but I don't like I don't like the you know the blood and the and the gore and, and that. I'm not into that. It should you know not at all. Before, that. <laughs> yeah, I know, Mike. Okay. Okay. Um. So what we would decorate in September first? <laughs> You'd celebrate all year, I know. But we're we're not trying to, you know. I, I did decorate early, but it wasn't official until September first, September twentieth. That was when I was allowed to put out the wreath. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? I don't like the blood and gut stuff. I don't like any of that stuff. I don't like the gruesome stuff. I don't like green witches. I, uh, I, you know, you can make, I like, if anything, you can make it, you know, the spooky, like the cutesy spooky, if you had to do it. I, I like my decorations, but that's just me. Um, uh, but the gore it has nothing to do with Halloween. That's Hollywood, and I really wish they'd stop. Oh, there's another little piece. Let's get that little piece. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I mean, I like some of my decorations so much that after Christmas, I'm putting them back up. What the heck? What the heck? You know what? You don't like it? Don't come. That's easy, right? <laughs> don't come to the house. Well, a lot of my decorations, you know, a lot of the things that I have are out all year. Okay, so we finished with all of that. Now we're going to try something that ought to be fun. I want, well, who knows if it's going to be fun or not, but I want to try that black dye in that two-part casting resin. Do I have enough time? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, the fall is my favorite time of year because it's just um, the colors are my favorite. Yeah, I, scary movies are one thing, but I like I've seen people like having chainsaw looking people all over their lawns and stuff. There was a guy around the corner that I really, I mean, it's just me. It's just me. How you know, um, scary movies? That's fine, you know. They, but I just, I don't know. I just don't like the blood and guts of people's lawns. And but that's you know. Again, that's just what I, I, that's just what I don't consider, you know, I know that's a part of Halloween, but it's not, but everybody has the right to do what they want to do. Scary movies scare me. Actually, I know that's sort of like, duh, that's what they're supposed to do. So I don't usually watch them, but we've talked about that, Barbara. I'm a wimp when it comes to that stuff. I haven't gotten through The Exorcist. Uh, what was the other one? Damien of the Omen. Oof. Couldn't watch that. I think we got to one part. I don't know. I don't remember which movie it was, but all of a sudden the wind picked up and the leaves were all flying and this priest was walking and that was it. Down a lane. That was it. Last, I turned that off. That even scared me. And not, I don't know if anything happened. I think he might have been impaled. I'm not sure I didn't get to watch it after that, but the music and the way he was walking and Scared the poops out of me. So I'm a scaredy cat. You know, I am a real scaredy cat. I have not watched. What was the scariest movie I've ever watched was American Werewolf in London. And I had to be drinking a little bit to watch it. And Aliens with the S. Those are the two scariest movies. Aliens with the S, that I'm, if I'm not saying, you know, pronouncing it that one i really grew to like an awful lot um eddie and i used to watch them all the time 
American Werewolf in London. This is a funny story, and then I'll start with my uh, resin. American Werewolf in London, uh, I wasn't good with that. And we were in my apartment, my future husband and I were in the apartment. I was, I, like, we had this little TV. This little, where's the camera? Little TV. And he, I don't know if we were watching it on DVD or VHS. I don't know. We were old enough to be watching things on VHS. And uh, we were watching it. And he was sitting on the sofa. I was ironing. Who the heck knows what I was ironing? 13 Ghosts the Scariest? No, I don't want to see that. Um, that would probably scare the heck out of me. So I'm ironing. And if anybody knows American Werewolf in London, because I was sort of facing him, like, because I didn't want to see it, because I knew it was going to scare me. Sometimes the music scares me. So do you know the, um, the scene where the guy is asleep and he's having a dream and he thinks he wakes, he thinks he woke up and he's having a dream within a dream? Well, yeah, that's true. You're very true about aliens, but that was about as horrifying as I can get. The, f the first alien, I don't even know if I watched that through. Um, so I was pressing, and again, I don't know what the heck I was ironing because that's something I don't do a lot of at all, ever. And I was watching his face, and it was at the night, and he was giving me a blow by blow, sort of what was going on, always having a bad dream. And then all of a sudden, he goes and wakes up and goes into the second dream. My husband knew, I, well, whatever, at the time he wasn't, but, but he jumped. And I have to tell you, that, that iron almost went flying. I wasn't even watching it. I was watching him. And when he jumped, he got me so scared. I'm like, I'm not watching this thing. I'm not watching this thing. And he was like, oh, you know, that was really scared. I'm like, I'm not watching this thing. But then I think I had a couple of drinks or a drink. It doesn't take me much, a couple of drinks. It takes me a drink, okay? And then I think I watched it. But like through my fingers, like that's going to help that you don't see things, you know? All right. All right. Let's try the resin dye. Let me, let me clean up a little bit over here because I got all sorts of stuff that I really don't need right here. Okay. And let's, let's start doing a little resin. Now, I don't want to do a lot. I just want to try the black dye and see if it works. Okay. Uh, I should really, all right, which one should I do? All right, I'll try this bid die. Let's try this bid die. And this one needs 24 milligrams or 36 grams. Well, this is in drams, not grams. Ah, milliliters. 24. 25, wait, 24. So it's up to here. I think that's, I think, I don't know. We'll see. We'll pour 24 and see what we're doing. The cycle, yeah, it was scary, and the birds were scary too. Which one, alien, uh, Sandra? Which one are you talking about? Yeah, I, I didn't see that one either, Barbara. Nope, nope, nope. Psycho, not sure if I watched that one either. Wuthering Heights freaked me out when you see the ghosts at the end. Nope, that can't do that one. Can't do that one. Cheryl, Shirley, none of them. Nope. Uh, yeah, lights on. Yeah. Aliens. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. June hasn't seen any of these. June is a scaredy cat. Let's be honest about it. I freely admit I'm a scaredy cat. Didn't watch them either, Sandy. Didn't watch them either. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. So now if it's 24 mLs, that means I only have to do 12 and 12, right? So let's see if I can get to... Okay, I'm going to just go a little bit over 10 here. These are dosage cups. OK, 
Okay. Let's put this down here. Cover it up. I was uh, watching another person, YouTube. And who was this? I don't, I don't remember who it was. It was either Adam Savage or... Uh, Right, let me get or somebody else, but they were saying that you really should be wearing um, plastic gloves. I mean, you know, some kind of glove. And they said also something about I should be wearing a mask. I know it moved, but I'm trying to get my resin. Okay. Did I get it close? This is 15 mLs. This, I think, needs a drop more to get to 15 ml. Sign. Ah, okay. Clean this off. And this is its cap. Signs is another one. Yes, that I saw. Signs I saw and Lost Boys I saw. The Dracula with um, Langella. What was his name? Frank Langella? Oh, boy. I saw that one in the movie theater. Scared the poops out of me, too. First scene is on a ship, and there's the casket, and the hand comes up and rips the throat out of somebody. That was lovely. And then the lady in the graveyard uh, under the grave where she's dressed all in white with the red flashing eyes. Oh, that was bad. Okay, never opened this before. Let's see. Ah, oh, really? I just, ooh. we don't have time for this, guys. I should have known that there would be something like this on here. Ugh. Okay, get rid of that. Let's see. It says only a drop or two, so... Let's get it in before my resin. Oh, gosh. I got more of a drop all over me. Hopefully, it doesn't get hard before you can get a chance to mix it. Okay. Let's put in one drop. Let's see what it does. Let's put in one drop. Oh, come on. Ah. One very long drop. It said even less than a drop, and that was one very long drop. Okay. Oh, look at that color. That's black. Nice. Because I can't get Illuminite, uh, Illuminite, if I'm saying it right, black resin. Can't find it. Can't buy it. So, and sometimes I, you know, with the resin, um, I'd like to start because I always uh, do, I always usually paint them black to begin with. So, oh, all righty. Let's see how this works. Oh, how pretty is that? Well, that was pretty. I don't have enough for a lot of stuff, so I don't know. Where am I going to do it? Let's put it here. That's doesn't matter. Yeah, but I it's very expensive because they don't sell it in small containers, I think. Martha, I don't know. Last time I was looking, it was very expensive because they're selling it in, in big containers. Okay. I use this as a silicone cup, and I use this. I just keep using this a lot. Ah, and I hit, uh, it, you know, I'm wearing a plastic bag, and I hit the thing. So now we just got to, I mean, a plastic bag, uh, rubber gloves, whatever you call these things, hand protectors. So let's wait. Let's see. This is, they have these dyes on Amazon. I'm getting this stuff all over the place. Where is a paper towel? Let's see how long it takes. Pretty 
preach it them. I cannot read really this thing a day away. Too scary now. Young Frankenstein. I have a Costello I could watch. Dolores Claiborne. I didn't watch that. Van Helsing. Love you, Jackman. He's, he's lovely. Hills Have Eyes. No. The Stand. No. Signs. I like I one of the thing parts of signs that I loved was when um, they were wearing the metal helmets, but that one scared the poop out of me too. I got so in love reading Pet Cemetery that <laughs> supper was in the oven. Wow. Okay. So now here's the problem. It. How do we know it's done? Oh, I guess I could see it's turning grayish in the middle. That was a lot of paper towels, and I'm sticking. Why am I sticking? I don't like sticking. They said one drop goes a long way, so is this resin? Yeah, I think it is. All right. I don't know how I got resin over here. Wrong turn. Didn't see that one. Didn't even know it was a movie. I mean, I thought the, the Terminator was a scary movie. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here as we wait for this thing to dry. Okay, it's turning like whitish, grayish. Can you see the there? Yeah, you can see that. I won't grow corn and see signs with the helmets. I know. I love that. I love that. I don't know if it's done. Oh, this is how you can tell. No, it's not done. Okay, so do you think, does anybody know, do you think the dye makes it and what makes it not, this is for that one and this is for that one? Um, the dye makes it take longer to dry. I'm uh, walking through a cornfield now just because of the bugs. Oh, we had a, a wasp in the house. Oh, we are watching that this week, Martha. Oh, gosh. Um, so Megan informed me that that was the fifth moth. In the, I mean, the fifth wasp in the house. That, so now we have a wasp problem. Fifth, fifth wasp will some along, but we have a wasp problem. So now i got to figure out if we have a wasp problem or not. And I'm like, I, I don't want to know anymore. I don't want my refrigerator sprung a leak over the weekend. And, of course, you had to wait till Monday for anybody to come, which is fine. I'm not, you know, it just sprung a leak later. In the day where we, all the repairmen were no longer working. And, oh, it's getting there because this one's getting tacky a little bit. Um, so that was fun. I don't want, you know, everything just stay the way it's supposed to. Has anybody used the resin dye? A lot of scary movies. <laughs> I know. Your birthday week is next week. Oh, it's hot. It's hot underneath here. No, it's not ready. Okay. This is going to be the last thing I do anyway. Because I'm tired. i got to go for a blood test tomorrow. Children of the corn, too? Yeah. 
getting lighter in the middle. Yes, it is. Oh, what happened? Oh, I lost you for a second there. Are you, are you still here? You should be. Hi. My, my whole screen went bit down. The Pope's exorcist was really good. Oh, yeah, no, we're not. We live in a corner. I got a six foot privacy fence. Shout to, okay, disc. Live it. Um, yeah, I, no, 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 no. The Pope's, I didn't watch that. Uh, nope. I don't like mazes anyway. I don't like getting lost. But that's just me. Again, I, we're talking all just how I feel. Because I don't like. No, it's not ready. It's still warm. I think this dye makes it take take a little bit longer. Avoid contact with skin. Don't swallow. All right. Let's put that over there. Let's see what's doing in the... We're getting better in the cup, see? It's pulling out. So it is working. I mean, I knew that the resin was okay. Maybe I didn't mix it enough. I don't know. But it, it's, yeah. It's just taking a lot longer than it normally does. So I think I said everything that I wanted to tell you about this tonight. I think I got everything. Oh, next week is, I don't know if I'm going to be going live next Wednesday. Just see if I'm tired. So uh, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be going on live next Wednesday. I'm going to try. If I have something that I can do that's fun and easy, maybe. But 10 minutes, guys. It's supposed to take 10 minutes. I don't know. Water cost $6.99 for getting lighter. Dish. Oh, you have a dish. $6.99 isn't bad. <clears throat> I have, um, oh, it did it again. What's going on here? Am I hitting the plug? So then I'm, pull, oh, I'm pulling the plug out a little bit. I'm hoping you're not flashing on and off. Um, ginger snaps movies were good. I never saw those. Okay. This is taking an eternity. Why is it? Come on, boys. No, it's not ready. See, it's bending. It's not snapping out. Oh, it is snapping out. Oh, look at that. Okay. Woo wee. Woo wee. What am I talking about? Woo wee. Oh, look at that. How nice that came out. Still feels a little gummy on the edges. Look at how pretty that came out. All nice and black. And it's hot. Oh, it's still hot. Oh, I like that. It's gray in the, it's not like dark black, but it's still black so that anything you put over it and you can, can you bend it still? Yeah, you can bend it a little bit. I like that. Good. So that, that stuff works. How nice. Is it coming out of here? Yep. It's coming out of here too. Okay, so I can get it off my mold and, and everything, too. Not bad. You see how there's always this little, I don't know if you can see it. Let me, there's like, a, not that the light, not the lightness to the dark, but on the edges, there's always like a little lip, which is hard when you're trying to take this and put it down like that, because you think you're making contact, but you are just on the edge and not in the center. That's That was the reason why I was having so much of a problem. I think I just have to fill them more. I'm not sure. Or maybe wait for this to totally harden and sand it down a little bit on the edges, and it would fit better when you try to do the second part of the mold. 
Or you know what? You can just have it hang like this too. What's the difference if it's on a tree? It doesn't have to be three-dimensional all the way around. Okay. Uh, okay. Have a wonderful Halloween. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm going to switch over and I'm going to say goodnight because I don't really have anything else to do. It's a little bit earlier anyway, but I'm going to, you know, just chat for a little bit and then go and mirror my camera. Okay. Hate to leave, but I had to clean up. Christmas stuff is going in the house Saturday. Have a great Halloween. Happy Halloween. Good night, Cheryl. So, okay. So here's what we accomplished with the making our resin black, which is what is really nice because a lot of times I find that on, especially on the resin pieces, if I have to gesso and then put another layer, I, I'd rather just to keep as a few layers of color as possible, but I'm really liking this. I'm so glad I haven't had, I've never had black resin. Yay. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I am very pleased with that. Good. So that works. The other ones are drying over here. Let's see how fast they, if any of them are dry. Now this big one is still pretty wet. This big one is still pretty wet and damp. So I'm just going to leave it, but it's heavy. That's the thing. It's going to be heavy. So this is probably not good for a, a um, live tree unless you put it more towards the trunk. But this is pretty heavy as compared to this. This is as, this is as light as a feather. This has no weight to it at all. But this that definitely has weight. Okay. And then the other little one I made out of it, it's still coming apart here. You can see that. But like Christine said, when this dries, I'm going to be making, you know, a round of clay, a snake, and shoving it in there so that it'll be all one piece. But I want the three to compare. See, it's already breaking over in here, but that could have just been me in that little neck, that neck piece that I, you know, the, the little guy, the little neck right there. So we'll see. We will see. I got the wire in there, so hopefully it'll hold it. And then I'll see how it looks when this one finishes drying, the one that's around my Mod Podge. We'll see if that keeps its shape. So we did a little experimenting, so I can give you the opinion, my opinion on this clay. I think depending on the shrinkage, because we'll be able to tell how much it shrinks, and depending on how much it cracks, so it doesn't crack, um, I think I might be using this one. I'm using a, just like a flat mold, not a flat mold, one-sided mold. Uh, but if it takes a really long time to dry, that's always something you have to take into consideration with molds. If you want something right away, you have to start early and you can let them air dry and then glue them on, or you can try to glue them on your project. But I'd be very interested to see how much they crack because I don't remember if the person said to paint those also right away. So they don't crack. I know I, I was uh, on the paper clay, they said, and, th and that I got mixed results on. So put some bling, yes. I will put some bling. Once it's dried, I'm going to do more bling. I got stuff all over the place. My desk looks sort of scary, but that's okay. All right. So I'm sorry I'm going to be leaving you ladies a couple of minutes early, but I really don't have anything else, and we said everything. Uh, look, hopefully, like I said, that uh, my Halloween video of my home decorations will be up on Friday. And um, sorry that it's all going to be in this mode instead of this mode, but I've learned my lesson. Um, I will only take the camera in this mode. And that's about it. So thank you, everybody, for coming in. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, my two gents that I know that came in. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a beautiful, lovely, safe Halloween. And um, until I see you again, have fun creating beauty. Good night. Love you all. Bye.